humbled to be here, but we feel it's, you know, pretty fitting that they chose us to present the next two categories, right? Because in 80s, I'm playing the legendary Greek hero Orpheus, musician, poet, and son of Apollo. And I'm playing a goddess. <laughs> sure. The nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Musical are... Sam Bolin, Midnight at the Neverdale. Andrew R. Butler, Rags Park Linson's The Songs of the Future. Jeremy Cohen, Midnight at the Neverdale. Clifton Duncan, Carmen Jones. Stephen Skybell, Fiddler on the Roof in Yiddish. And the recipient of the 2019 Lucille Lortel Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Musical goes to Stephen Skybell Fiddler on the Roof in Yiddish. Gotten you, gotten you, gotten you. That, that's Yiddish for my God, my God. Thank you very much. I'm very humbled and honored to be here. And I have to first thank the Lucille Lortel Foundation and the Off-Broadway Theater League. And I would like to congratulate my fellow nominees and all the nominees and the honorees. Um, this has been an amazing journey for this show. I do want to thank a fair number of people. I think the last time I thanked this many Jews was my bar mitzvah. <laughs> but I have to start with Sheldon Harnick, Joe and Elisa Stein, and Jerry Bach, who created this classic musical, Fiddler on the Roof. And who allowed in 1962 to Shraga Friedman, the acclaimed Israeli actor, to do a Yiddish translation that opened and failed in Israel in that time. I would also like to thank my better half, Michael Cole, who saw on Facebook that they were doing a Yiddish Fiddler on the Roof directed by Joel Gray and insisted that I call Steve Stone, Shannon Kelly, my agents at Cornerstone and the dearly departed Mark Schlegel, who made the call and got me into the room to be seen by Joel Gray, who was our legendary director of this Yiddish Fiddler on the Roof. I'd like to also thank the Folkspina, the National Yiddish Theater, that produced this musical. And if you are talking about off-Broadway, the, National, the Museum of Jewish Heritage cannot be any off -er than it's in the shadow of the Statue of Liberty. And, and it was a beautiful, fitting place for us to make our first venture into this Yiddish fiddler on the roof. The folks being is headed by a wonderful man, Zalman Mlote who not only is the artistic director of the longest producing Yiddish theater in the world, but is also the musical director of our Yiddish Fiddler on the Roof, and was for me a guide throughout the entire process. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? All right, I'm sorry, I'll hurry it up, I beg your pardon. So I would also like to thank Chris Massamine, Motel Didner, Sabina Bruckner, who, who coached me, my mishpacha, the cast and crew of Fiddler Affendach. I'd like to thank my scene partner, Rabbana Shalolam, God on high, who's with there me every night as we tell this story of an oppressed people. I would like to also thank Hal Luftig, Jana Robbins, and Roy Gabay, who have the courage and audacity to bring a Yiddish musical to even further up off Broadway to Stage 42 on 42nd Street. A, a musical that was meant to run for six weeks downtown is now going to have its year anniversary next month. And in closing, I will say that I have had two dreams my entire life from childhood. One was to play Tevya in an age-appropriate production, and the other was to somehow find myself in Yiddish on the stage. And this, what began as a labor of love, equal parts labor and love, has tonight absolutely become a dream come true. Thank you.